defense. All right, let's start with the D-line. Um, last year, the 49ers kept eight. The year before, they kept nine. They've kept as many as 11 in the Shanahan era. So this is a weird one. So here are our locks on the defensive line. Bosa, Hargrave, Malik Collins, Leonard Floyd, Yatir Gross Matos, Jordan Elliott, Kevin Givens. You got seven locks, guaranteed. After that, it gets rough. R-U-F-F real, real quick. And, and there is, I think it's our weakest position, Josh. He says, edge is super weak. It's our weakest position. We are the most top-heavy in the NFL. Now, we have we have a top-five defensive line in the NFL, but our depth, it's not top-five. It is not top-10. It's not top-15. It's not top-20. It's rough. It's bad. Now, Drake Jackson's on season ending IR. He's coming back next year. Can't play this year. I have IR to return. This is our two spot, right? John Feliciano was one. Kalia Davis. He has to miss the first four games. He's coming back. I can't believe I'm saying this. And Josh, I'm keeping your comment up there. I'm keeping Robert Bill Jr. I really, really am. I don't think that he's the best. He's my bubble guy. I don't think he's the best at all. I think Sam McQuanu's better. I think Alex Bear's better. I think everybody who's played is better. But the upside is there. They spent a fifth round pick on this dude. You've seen what's happened to Zakel. It just he needs a little bit more time. So I'm keeping Robert Bill Jr. My practice squad guys, Evan Anderson, who's a bubble player, could make this roster. Sam McQuanu is one of the vet exceptions, and Alex Barrett, that's a vet exception as well. I'm keeping those two guys on my practice squad and probably elevating one or both. Um, and yeah, DND coming. If you could get a position, if you could trade for a position, defensive end is it. If I'm calling for trades, John Lynch, defensive end is what you need more than anything. Not a starter, just a rotational guy. Somebody that's a stud run stuffer or somebody that is just a pass rusher. You don't need a complete player. This this would be our fourth or fifth defensive end that could soak up snaps and be a specialist. That is what we need. All right, linebackers. Uh, <laughs> ah, all right. Um, last year, 49ers kept six. Two years ago, 49ers kept six. I got to keep it five, which I don't. I, I, this was one of the positions where I'm just like, Ugh. but again, Dre Greenlaw will be on PUP. So you get to keep Greenlaw. He doesn't count as a roster exemption. He'll be one of your eight returnees, but he's not on IR. So he's not one of those two IR to return. He started camp on PUP, ended camp on PUP. That's the rules for the PUP designation. He has to miss the first four games. He'll miss more than that. But he doesn't count as a roster spot. That's a free roster spot. Okay, so I've got Fred Warner, obviously. Devondre Campbell, I'm excited to watch play this year. DFF, the guaranteed... $2 million plus rotation. I probably wouldn't keep him. I would keep him. But he would not be in my linebacker rotation really at all. D winners is my four. Curtis Robinson is my last and final five, which means practice squad, Jalen Graham, Tatum Bethune. I hate that. I hate it. This is the one where I'm just like, dang you, John Chapman. Dang you to hell. Like, ugh. Dude, nobody is traded for DFF, man. Not if anybody has a running team in their division. You can't play him against the run. He is the worst linebacker maybe in the NFL against the run. But he's damn good against the pass. And he's good on special teams. Hey, he's been terrible on special teams this preseason, in fact. But whatever. $2 million guaranteed money. He's, he's making this roster. Now, Jalen Graham, I love. And I think he's a better linebacker than DFF, and I think he's on par special teams-wise. Might be better on special teams, actually. Tatum Bethune might be the best player against the run on our damn team. He's that good against the run. He just pass. Yeah, that's another story. Um, and, and I don't want to cut him. He's a rookie, and he showed promise and all those things. But, man, I've been at training camp during one-on-ones in team. Dude can't cover anybody. Uh, and I don't know if either will clear waivers. I don't think either one will. You know, the 49ers get poached of running backs and linebackers all the time. It's just 
We're the, we're the best at those two things. Everybody wants a Shanahan running back. Everybody wants a Johnny Holland linebacker. We might not get either one back. And if I could change something, man, Tatum Bethune. I'm sorry, dude. You've got a rookie injury. You're going to sit on IR for a year. The Cam Law 2 treatment. I would be totally cool with that. I would love that to take place. And maybe Tatum Bethune somewhere listening to this saying, screw you. But, like, I want to keep this dude around. I really, really do. But I've only got us keep it five just because it got it got so tight. Uh, maybe you cut Chris Conley so that you can keep Tatum Bethune. But whenever you bring Chris Conley back, what are you going to do with Tatum Bethune? Right? You got you to gotta do something there. Now, this is where I have a first. I have an IR not to return. Ambry Thomas. Broke his wrist, put him on IR, stashed him for a year. I, I know that he's not the system fit. He doesn't like contact at all. He's anti-physical, doesn't like to tackle ever, uh, just wants to play press corner and never tackle anybody, right? He's like the – he's not like Deion Sanders, but whatever. It, that type of thing. And Kella Witherspoon, there's places for that in the NFL. He's in a contract year. You put him on IR, his contract tolls till next year. You have him under contract next year. Last year, the 49ers kept five. This year, the 49ers kept five. Or, sorry, 2022, they kept five. I got them keeping six. I got them keeping six. Charvarius Ward, Diamador Lenore, Renardo Green, Isaac Yottam. Those four are locks. Now, the last two, I got Rocky Sin and Darrell Luter Jr. I love Rocky Sin more than probably most. And so this might be one of the Chapman bias, whatever. That dude's the most physical corner we have on our team, and he has been great during training camp. Yeah, he had a bad game week two against the Saints, but, man, that dude locks people up. I, I, lo I love what he brings. I really, really do. Rocky Sin, I have confidence in him. And with the Isaac Yottam injury and Renato Green being a rookie, my third corner week one might be Rocky Sin. I'm going to be honest. Like, he might be the guy that I put out there as my first quarterback three. I like Renardo Green better, but I don't know. I'm just saying that's a maybe. Now, here's Darrell Luter Jr. and Kyle Shanahan talking just about what he's been able to do. It's been great. I mean, just for, you know, it's unfortunate with what happened to him this year, for him to get through the whole camp and to be able to stay healthy. Uh, it's allowed him to get better. Uh, we got a lot of belief in his ability and everything, and guys need time and guys need reps, and he's gotten those reps finally um, this year where he didn't get them last year. And, um, you know, I, I think it's helped him a lot. He gets better each week and made some big plays in that game. That pick was huge. And, um, you know, no one's a finished product, but love the direction he's going. Now, back to corners. Practice squad, I got two vet candidates, Samuel Womack and Chase Lucas, bringing them both back to the practice squad. I doubt that you could bring Womack back. I think he would go. Chase Lucas, again, these are guys that can play inside, outside. They can play special teams. They can do it all. But Rocky Sin, I trust as a true corner. He's not as good as special teams as Lucas or Womack, but he's a corner. Darrell Luter Jr., both those are bubble guys. I wouldn't be shocked either which way. But, ah, man, yeah, I, I, I love this cornerback room. But again, you got to remember expiring contracts. So you're doing this roster with this year, next year in mind. Charvarius Ward, expiring contract. Demo, expiring contract. Isaac Yottam, expiring contract. Rocky Sin, expiring contract. So Renato Green, Darrell Luter Jr. And if you put Ambry Thomas on IR, you at least have three corners coming back next year with playing time. I, I don't want Ambry Thomas to ever start a game for the Niners again for the rest of our life, but he's not a bad backup corner that could come in with injuries. That's kind of his role. That's what it should be, right? Safeties. Last year kept four. 2024, they kept four. I've got them keeping four. Jair Brown, Talano Hufunga. Malik Mustafa, Malik Mustafa, and George Odom, which I didn't like putting George Odom for, but you're keeping Malik Mustafa. Practice squad, Jalen Mahoney. Um, and you know what's crazy? Like, Malik Mustafa's great, 
That dude's got a lot of missed tackles, a lot of missed coverages. The ceiling is there. He is so far away. He is so far away, but he will be a beast. He needs time. I And again, I, I've said this on the show before. Jalen Mahoney is a better safety right now than Malik Mustafa is. He's a better all-around player, way fewer mistakes, literally outranks him in every single statistical category, PFF, whatever. But the ceiling of Malik is off the freaking charts. Um, and I, I'm excited. I, I, I'm excited about Jalen Mahoney, Malik Mustafa, Jair Brown, Ufunga. And again, one of the best, most improved players from last year, this year is George Odom. He might not even see the field as a safety if Ufunga comes back this week. But I, I'm not worried at all about George Odom. He had the most interceptions against Brock Purdy in camp. He balled out every single, every single, um, you know, game for the 49ers in the preseason. I, I mean, he was just a stud. Let me see here. I'm going to pull this up. Uh, let's see. Is, is he number? Yeah, he's number three. So here's the top preseason defensive players. Alex Barrett, unbelievable. 88.3. Malik Collins, he didn't really, he played seven snaps, but he looked incredible in his seven snaps. 83.3. George Odom, 81.3. Like, George, and he played He played 20 snaps, but he played in two games, two a couple series. I'm excited about that. So, again, back to my biggest question. We're keeping 27 offensive players, 23 defense. That's so lopsided. The practice squad helps with some of that. Uh, we're keeping our three specialists on special teams, Mitch Wisnowski, Jake Moody, Tabor Pepper, yeah, Presley's had a great preseason, but you're keeping Mitch Wisnowski. Our 16 practice squads, uh, you get 10, you, you get six vets. You're allowed to have six vets, right? So here's my practice squad, squad Tanner Mordecai, Cody Schrader, Tay Martin, Trent Taylor vet, Cameron Lawtu, Mason Pline, Drake Nugent, Brandon Parker vet, Evan Anderson, Sam McQuanu vet, Alex Barrett vet, Jalen Graham, Tatum Bethune, Samuel Womack, vet, Chase Lucas, vet, Jalen Mahoney. That's my 16. Um, and that's a damn good roster. Are we getting all those guys back on practice squad? No. Will we get Tatum Bethune back? Probably not. Will we get, um, might not get Jalen Mahoney back. Will we get Cam Lawtu back? No. Mo Cody Schrader will get back? Ugh, maybe not. So, and I, again, you know, I started off talking about this powers. If you missed it, we're keeping three quarterbacks. Like I bet a lot on that. Um, so I don't think we're cutting a quarterback. I just don't see that. Maybe that changes um, who your number two is. And, and that's the thing. It, it's easy to look at this and be like, okay, well, you should keep this guy. But the counter to that, who are you cutting? Right. So, like, the conversations, and we're going to see a lot of these. You should have kept so-and-so. But, like, I don't even count that as an argument. You got to tell me who we should cut. And then you can have the conversation. So, whenever you get into it cross-position, Cody Schrader, right? Everybody would have said that dude was a lock a week ago with all the running backs injured, whatever else. I got him as a practice squad now. I think he's a damn good player. So if you want to keep somebody like Cody Schrader, are you going to cut Jared Kingston? Are you going to cut Jake Tonchis, maybe? Just keep three tight ends? Hope somebody comes back? These are the conversations that are fun that the teams have in office. This is the same conversations and arguments they go through. Oh, let's cut this guy. Okay, well, then who are we going to, who are we going to keep? And then the trump card on all of this. <laughs> It's probably the worst coach the 49ers have, and I even hate saying that's Brian Schneider and special teams because that plays such a vital role in this 53-man roster. And I tried to plug in some special teams, whatever, there. And, yeah, we're going into this. If this is the roster we keep, you've got a rookie punt returner in Jacob Cowan. Don't like that. You've got a rookie kick returner in Isaac Garendo. Don't really like that either. 